too. It's probably a way of keeping them on the <laughs> And keeping the guys fit, I would think, yes. Well, we're just about to start the second term at uh, the Osborne Park ground. And uh, it's going to be Weiss and also Reuter up in the centre again. Goes towards Camarado and O'Leary and Burns. And the umpire says there's a push. It's going to go to North Geelong. And it looks like getting off the bottom of the pack is Mark Burns. And where we find him all the time for North Geelong, gives it off to Jones. Gets the kick away long towards Naylor, and that's what they need Jimmy to do, I think. Run across centre-half forward, create an option. He has done so. Takes the mark, kicks in board towards Walsh. Can't take the mark against Delamonica there. Running straight through the pack. Stewie Marnie, who's been North, one of North Geelong's best players. And it's touched by Sheehan on the line. And, in fact, I think it's out of bounds. It's hit the behind post, and we'll have a boundary throw-in in the left full forward pocket for North Geelong, who currently trail 3-4 to 4-4 four, four in this GDFL match of the day. Comes in. Ferguson with a big thump towards the boundary line again. And Shorty Peters was there for the Eagles. And it's out of bounds once again. This time about 15 metres around from the behind post. And we'll have another boundary throw in. Central umpires this afternoon. Umpires Jason Hillgrove and Dean Pretlove. And it's a boundary throw in. Ferguson again with that big right fist. Hits it another 10 or 15 metres. Shorty Peters can't keep it in. And the boundary umpire will earn his money once again. Uh, thrown in on the far far side there, punch away by Jones, and he's just looked for the safety of the uh, the boundary line again, and uh, punched it back over. So we'll have another throw in. North Geelong's half forward line on the far side of the ground. Carrio Bay side thrown in again. Good contest, and it's well punched away by Graham, who gets it down. O'Leary picks the ball up. It's a uh, kick forward there by Alfie Delamonica. He too uh, tries to get the ball over. It comes off pack. Roving the pack like a little champion is Andy Reuter. Reuter up forward. Puts it out in front of Sheridan. Sheridan turns. Great handball. Sets up uh, the eastern suburbs there. But a pretty ordinary kick there by, by Loughton, I think it was. Although it was on his uh, unpreferred foot. And uh, he's uh, kicked one behind. North Geelong looking to bring the ball back into play. Uh, does so, uh, kicks the ball to himself, runs up the ground, takes a bounce and kicks very, very long down to the central wing area where he's looking for a player there in Mark Burns. Burns takes a very, very good mark, plays on quickly, gets a handball over, puts uh, himself under pressure there, Rory uh, Nickel, but uh, gets the ball clear, pushed down. They're still uh, pushing the ball forward, North Geelong, and they're doing that in, uh, in the way of Stuart Marnie, who is one of their better players. And he too has a ping at goal and it has gone through for one point. So not much changing here. Scotty Ferguson picks the ball up. He's going to uh, boot it in, which is a bit of a change. He's <laughs> not used to seeing Scotty in the back line. Well, it's really a close your eyes and hope for the best. Oh. <laughs> he uh, does kick the ball. He has done very well looking for Reuter. The ball punched away. North Geelong pick it up oh, and good uh, turn the ball in. And that was a very, very good pass. And uh, a good mark there has been taken by the number 22 in Ricky Vincent. Vincenton. 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 Who is actually... Related. <laughs> related, is he? He has a relation. Has he? Yes. Where does he have a relation? Oh, he has a relation. <laughs> well... A relationship, too. Oh, good kick, too. That's a great goal. Son-in-law of uh, someone. Oh, son-in-law. Is that correct? They're not married yet. Oh, well, they will be. I've, I've uh, made the announcement public. Now, you have. So. Well, he's, yeah. the, he's the boyfriend of the boyfriend of the, of the daughter of the secretary of the league. Alan Moore. Archie. Archie. Don't call him Archie on radio, especially out here. We're, we're at his home ground. He's, uh, <laughs> although he has no loyalties to North Geelong, he says f now he's a neutral man. So. Yeah, but he still has a soft spot for him. <laughs> and uh, Young Arch. he'll be looking... He'd be smiling, I would think. He's at, uh, I think he's at Bell Post Hill at the moment, and uh, he'd be happy to hear that North Geelong are four five twenty nine, and they've leveled the scores. Eastern Suburbs four five twenty nine as well. So a fantastic tussle here, and uh, back in the centre, Reuter in there again. But it comes out, quick kick towards half forward and Naylor, and he's getting a lot of room across half forward. Gives a good slick handball to Walsh, who gets a, a tumbling punt towards the forward pocket, and for Senton again against Bailey. In fact, that's not. That's Chris Fowler. Chris Fowler, that was, who's on the ground. A bloke down from uh, the country who's at Deakin Uni. I got the word at quarter time. 
So he's having a run around with the Magpies. Obviously a Collingwood supporter, probably. That's what's brought him towards the, uh, the Colours. O'Leary, good little tap two to Graham. On the left foot, not obviously his preferred, but he gets a good kick away to the wing. Oh, Intervong, good play. Trapped it and went on, could handball it. Oh, well, probably it. should have, but got a, got a hit high. And that is an ordinary Hanusen decision. as well. An ordinary decision. And an ordinary decision by umpire Brett Love, Peter Walker says. But Intervong will take the free kick. Goes towards Harford and Sheridan. Strength, oh, good strength too. Takes the mark against Gibbs and plays on quickly. O'Leary gives him the lead, so he kicks in that direction. Sets him a task, the spike. And uh, you'll have Hill and support if it sits for him. It does now. Oh, that's dropping the ball. That's caught. That's caught, and he knew it. And A good decision. A good tackle by Kane Harrington. who had a very good 97 season. And we'll be looking to do exactly the same in 98. Kicks with a left boot. Good kick to good distance. Goes towards the centre wing position. The Eagles with the numbers at the fall of the ball, though. Camerato, handball, good to pick a skill. He goes towards half forward and Hill, who's got away from Key, gets a hand to it though, needed two. Key in front of him now, the old experienced Stasia, blocks it up and does well. And just outside the 50 metre line for the Eagles, we'll have a ball up. So we've been going five and a half minutes in this second term. Right, a good punch oh, down. Good. And goes towards Burns, who uh, is reading the play nicely off uh, Reuter. He is. Uh, from both the centre bounces and the uh, the contests around the ground. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Burns has been contributing. He, he tends to just drift in and drift out a little bit too much. He, he's not consistent enough to stay on the boil, I think. Well, it's up again, Reuter. And he goes in that direction again. This time, Jones chops it off for the Magpies. Short little kick towards Irving, who's able to keep it in. Could have handballed it to Intervong. Probably should have in the end. It was a poor left foot kick. And he's going to have to go back and do the chasing himself. Against, looks like Lockwood. And it's going to be a throw in at half forward on the outer side for the Eagles. There's all square here at North Geelong, 4 5, 29 apiece. In a great GDFL contest in this round two. Free kick over the shoulder. Going to go to North Geelong. Irving better not kick it. There'll be a 50 metre penalty out of that ruck contest. And it's going to go to Weiss at half back for the Magpies. He kicks in board towards Lewis. He leaves it there for Naylor. They really need to kick it a little bit better to J Jimmy Naylor at centre half forward, but he picked it up well there and gave it off quickly. Burns running at pace. Needs a shepherd. Got one. Didn't sit for him, though. Graham was going to kick it off the ground. Then he dives on the footy. Nickel can get around on that preferred left boot. Goes with the right with the uh, left boot right into the 10-metre square. Sheehan back there fighting hard, as is Delamonica. Falls towards the front of the pack. Walsh is there. Stands and waits for it, then gets ripped off the footy. Gets it again. Then just got his kick smothered as he was going for it. Comes out towards Intervong, and he's got some support. Quick kick away towards centre-half back. Louton in the race for the footy. Gets there first. Keeps it in front of him, and has some support from O'Leary. Ducks his head. Lucky. Got a free kick. And O'Leary just switches play towards Camerato at half back, stands out there, plays on quickly, takes a bounce, takes two, draws a play. That's Weiss, then goes long towards centre half forward. Sheridan one out with Gibbs. Gibbs does well, body work there. Key from behind, falls to the front. Good oh, play by play. Peters to Sean O'Leary, finishes it off straight over the umpire's hat. And great play from David Peters to Sean O'Leary, and he kicks his second goal. That was very, very quick hands there from Shorty Peters. And, uh, you know, he just followed the ball again down from f from the play. Two or three turnovers of ball and uh, just waited for the chance for it to hit the ground and then picked it up, pushed it over to O'Leary and uh, straight through the big ones. So Eastern Suburbs 5-5, five, five, 35. North Geelong 4-5-29 in his second term. And uh, from centre half back right through. Yeah. It was a pretty good play by the visitors this afternoon. Umpire Hillgrove throws it up in the middle again. Weiss gets his hands to it towards Burns this time. Comes out towards Lewis, who's been fairly influential for the Magpies on a wing. Goes towards centre-half forward. Camerado just shrugs a couple of tackles. Oh, kicks it straight up in the air. Irving has to sit and wait for it, does he? Yes, he does. Takes a good mark. Went 50 metres up and only 15 metres across, but it took the mark. Goes to Graham. He takes it at half-back on the uh, commentary box side. Goes long towards Loughton again. Getting back there. Nichols done a fair job on Loughton since going there. O'Leary, that's Michael. Was going to go right, then went left. Goes one out to Sheridan and Gibbs. Sheridan works to the front. Can't get to both hands to it. Gibbs does well. Then he gets the handball over the top and will race for it himself with uh, Lockwood in support. And they can't keep it in. It will be a boundary throw in. 50 metres around from the Eagles goal. So Sheridan against... Hanusen, Sheridan in front, takes it from the ruck contest. 
pushes it back towards O'Leary, then left to go himself, but kicks off the ground, gives. Irving comes out a good play. He knew he was against the couple there. Just wanted the safety of the boundary line and found it. And we'll have another boundary throw in. I don't know, with the, with the style of, of Sean O'Leary, I, I really don't know. He's, he's up the ground, like standing, like he's ruck roving or playing in the centre of the ground, and I think he's far better in the goal the teeth of goal, even if it was in a forward pocket when Sheridan does take over the full forward role. Well, here he is, and he gets it, handballs it back to Hill, who can give it towards Camerado. He screws it around towards the banana, can't take the mark. Harrington keeps his feet, then gets uh, ripped off the foot. He's got support from Walsh also in there, fighting hard with Shorty Peters. And uh, with Camerado resting at full forward, Sean O'Leary's having a run on the ball. He's against Daryl Jones. And it's going to be a boundary throw in, in the right forward pocket for... Eastern Suburbs, kicking to the northern end of Osborne Park. Sheridan uses that big frame of his in the ruck contest, but can't bring it out to a teammate. And we're going to have a ball up once again in the forward pocket. It's 5-5 five five playing 4-5. The Eagles by a goal in this second term. Right, it goes up. Oh, brings it out of the ruck contest in the end. Kicks it high, wide, and not very handsome. And it's going to be a penalty-free kick to the Magpies in the last line of defence to Malcolm Key. What actually happened to uh, Brother? Uh, brother Robbie is, uh, I think, has I have seen him running around a little bit, but not, I don't think. I think uh, Robbie usually does this two or three weeks at the start of the season, then uh, gets the itch, gets the may bug. come back. So uh, we'll just see. He may have retired for the final time. He's had uh, more comebacks than Lazarus, that bloke. But uh, a good player, as is his brother, who's up in that contest, and nearly falls to him again. He kicks it off the ground towards Hill. Handball towards uh, Graham. Can kick from 45 but has sprayed it on this occasion, and one behind to Darren Graham, who's from Elvie in the Colac and District Footy League. So they go to 5-6-36 Eastern Suburbs. They lead North Geelong 4-5-29. Gibbs to kick in. Comes grandstand side, looking for Nickel over the top. Harrington, good roving by Lewis at the front of the pack. Oh, ripped off the footy well by Loughton. Bit slow. Got his kick away. And it's just going to sit in, is it? Now it falls out before Naylor can get there. Just took a couple of steps too quick, you know. There wasn't the talk there to say that he was hot or... Just hung on to it too long. So a boundary throw in on centre wing, Reuter. And also Weiss. He gets it out of the ruck contest on this occasion. Does well, the big man. Handball to Burns. He's away from Sean O'Leary. Can set something up. Poor kick off the boot in the end. Might be OK. No, it goes past Walsh. Dallamonica with a big thump. With the left fist back towards Burns and Sean O'Leary. He's got Reuter in support. He was going to wait for him. He does. Now Sean O'Leary, good little vision. Graham, he has to sit and wait, though. Nickel came at him. Now it's two on one. Nickel does well. Holds it in there. Got some support now from Jones. Does very well, Rory Nickel, but it's been holding the ball. And it's going to be a free kick to Graham. And, and from where we sat there, Jase, like, he was, he was punching at the ball, but he was yeah. holding it in yeah. from the other one. Graham goes towards the shortest man on the ground, Shorty Peters, but O'Leary roves beautifully, kicks it towards Camerado. Good kick. You can't beat that footy. And he hits Camerado right on the chest. Sheridan says go long. Banana from 55. And he's probably got a bit of a show. Two of the longest kicks he's in the competition, I would think, him and Sheridan. A very good kick of the ball, Paul Camerado. Well, he comes in now. He kicks long to the teeth of goal. Sheridan in front. Rove Peters can't take it through. The well, North well Geelong defence can. Yep. Well done, North Geelong. They push it through for a rush behind. So they go to 5 7 37 Eastern Suburbs. And they lead North Geelong 4 5 29. Gibbs again. Looking for the far side of the ground. A very wobbly old kick. Goes down, doesn't sit well. But uh, has for the Eastern Suburbs side. And that's been picked up by Darren Graham. Kicks it back into a contest. Uh, ball can't be won, but it does then by. Uh, Stephen Simpson, I think it is, from North Geelong, who kicks it out around the boundary line into a pack of players. No one gets a clear possession. Ball gets pushed out. It's picked up by North Geelong. Measures off. Looks for Naylor. Naylor running on over the head. Could... Oh! <laughs> That's gone. No left foot, you think? Could have run onto that left boot then. Didn't want to. Yeah, didn't want to. Alfie Delamonico takes the free. Kicks oh. up. Has a look. And a fantastic kick to <laughs> Mark Burns for North Geelong. Walsh, outside 50. Short little kick towards Naylor. Delamonica chops it off again. And it's going to fall towards Shane Intervong. In fact, it was Pickerskill. And now Intervong, handball over the top side. Kay Irving had to just sit and wait for, for a little minute, but then can run away from Walsh and kick towards centre-half forward. Peters tries to work. Uh, that's 
Mark Walsh under the footy. Oh, well Kick done. off the ground by O'Leary towards full forward Camarado. And there's Peters. Gets that little left foot. Kicks OK. Sheridan stands in the tackle. Kick oh, around well the done. corner. Vision. Camarado can just stand there and oh, take it. A big I, banana. I think that was very well done there by David Peters. <laughs> Short little in, kick. Running in to contest the ball, though, and you could see uh, North Geelong fellas running down on Camarotto, and he just kind of took a little hop, skip, and a jump and slowed things down. And we won't say he shepherded him in the mark, but he certainly <laughs> Camarotto Made sure. a bit more space. So Paul Camarotto from just a, a little bit closer than the last kick he had and uh, a chance to put his first goal on the scoreboard. He comes in. And I think he might have missed to the far side. He has, and one behind. So it, it's interesting, this ground out here, the the uh, the mill end of the uh, Osborne Park always seems to be the scoring end. And uh, Eastern Suburbs are blowing a few chances this time. Gibbs plays onto himself and then gets a short kick away to Malcolm Key, who plays on quickly, gets away from Hill, and... Oh. Then loses the footy at half-back, but has a bit of time. And Shepard from Burns to pick it up again and go into midfield. Reuter chops it off from Walsh. Pretty mobile, the big ranger, but then he can't bend down. And Marnie can. And then gets ripped off the footy. Should have been a free kick, maybe. O'Leary pushed him off the footy, and he's down injured. Goes to Reuter now at uh, centre wing. Mark Burns was going at it. Camarado, advantage paid. Can give it over the top to Sheridan. Does so. And Sheridan walks in and kicks a goal. And uh, Sheridan's... Second goal, and a bit of attention from David Gibbs there. Did have, did have, and uh, standing up for himself and saying, uh, do that again, boy, and uh, there might be ramifications. Andy Reuter just coming off for a bit of a break, and he's being replaced by Mark Buckingham. Mark might be just a wee tad small to be going into the ruck. <laughs> so I think that's going to be taken over by David Graham. Where'd you say he come from? Elby. Elby. Yes, his father's the president down there at Elby, so he got rid of his son pretty quick, gave him a clearance. <laughs> He's come up to play at Eastern Suburbs. And it's 6, in fact, it's 6, 9, 45, and uh, it's 4, 5, 29, North Geelong, so the Suburbs just opening up a bit of a break. In fact, it's 6, 8, 44. Weiss wins the ball, knocks it down. Jones can't get control, now does so. Gets the ball out to Gibbs, Gibbs. Good vision, looks for down forward, but it's been cut off there by the Eastern Suburbs side. Lockwood, I think, picked it up and got uh, bustled over and knocked yep. to the ground, and I think he has been paid a free kick for uh, a little higher tension. <laughs> He's in the forward pocket, probably about 15, 20 metres out. Fairly heavy angle, but uh, he's a fairly thick set of a young fellow, and he's not got no great height, but... Uh, the body lends to tell you that uh, with a with a butt that low to the <laughs> ground, he, he has the chance to kind of get in and bury. He looks like he knows what he's doing with the footy too. He's, he's got it. Doing a very good job. Big raps on this young man boy from the coach Arthur Hodgson. Who I've spoken to in the pre-season and uh, said look out for him, watch him. Very good player, and uh, he comes in. Good kick for goal too. That's a super kick, and uh, I'm tipping he's been doing that a bit of training. I think he's practiced that, and that's his second. And uh, the Eagles just can't shake the uh, the Magpies. They're five five thirty five, and they trail less than so six eight forty four. Oh, don't start oh. jokes, Brett. You're starting early in a season. Don't do that. It's, it's interesting that Reuter came off just for a little bit of attention. Obviously, he didn't play up last weekend with uh, the Easter Bunny, and what he had to do was get some tape wrapped round his shorts so to hold him up over that uh, big frame of his. Well, back in the centre, and it's Hill in the ruck. Good tap to Irving. Irving, oh, poor kick off the boot. Ranger just back on the ground. That's Roydo. Oh, ripped off the footy mark. Anyway, to Loughton. He'll pay that to uh, Brent. Camarado leads for him. It's a poor kick. It's going to set Banana a bit of a task. He does. Handball back into Hill. Can he pick it up? Yes, he can. Keeps it in front of him. Then he's ripped off the footy. Gets rid of it to Irving. He brings it back in. Then handball to Hill. Standing start. Kick over his shoulder towards Sheridan. Play on. Touched. Can he get around? Handball. Short little kick back, good vision. Loughton. Just seems to have a little bit extra time than anybody else, doesn't he? Just, you know, he, and good vision as well. What am I supposed to say? He should. He should have time. Well, this is right, him. he should. He is a quality player. He is very much that. A chance for Eastern Suburbs' seventh goal and a quick reply after that North Geelong goal by Lockwood. It, it just surprises me. With, with, with the likes of Reuter in the ruck, and uh, and Weiss for the 
the North Geelong side. Reuters obviously got a few inches on Weiss, and I notice both the central umpires throw the ball up. I've always believed that this is a big advantage for the guy that has the most height. Yep. I, I just wonder why they're throwing it up when the ground would be nice and hard and able to take a good bounce. Well, it's now with Peters, whose kick smothered, goes towards Gibbs. That's and oh. uh, and also uh, now Buckingham. Tunnel, tunnel ball. Tunnel ball. Yeah. Nickel has got it. Ducks his head, then gets the footy away. Harrington. Oy. That's high. Nearly got a high tackle, yeah. It was high first. Yeah, and then sort of dragged down a bit, but uh, it's held to him, said umpire Hillgrove, and we'll have a ball up at half forward. Uncontested oh, there. Hill, handball over the top to O'Leary, close to the boundary line. Sean. Could, could kick these. And does. <laughs> if there's something he does like his father, it's kick goals like that. Yeah, it's... it's <laughs> you know, if, if he was running around the boundary line, you, you'd nearly put odds on on him kicking a goal. When he's in front... Standing in front, he's that type of player, isn't he? I think his knees knock. He's a bit Jarman-like like that. I know he's not in the same calibre as da Darren Jarman, but he just... he kick a goal from anywhere except in front, probably. Yeah. Jarman's a bit like that as well. 7-9-51, Eastern Suburbs, North Geelong, 5-5-35. It's 16 points of difference in this second term. And uh, we've been playing 17 and a half minutes. So explain to me in this little interlude here, why would they be throwing uh, the ball up and not... Well, I think it's been a bit of a directive from the leagues the leagues around that um, when they the umpires if you can't if you, you can't if you can't that's right throw it up it's much better for both sides it's a bit more even so it falls towards uh, Sean O'Leary again the last goal kicker who's still having a run on the ball with Camarado at full forward Walsh gets the kick around the corner to Naylor stands and waits he had support there from Weiss but is it holding the ball no yes, it's held yes, to him it's got to be held it's held to him it's been umpire Hillgrove and it'll be a ball up just on the point of the centre square at half forward for the Magpies um, Pye Hillgrove throws it up again. Weiss gets this tap down to Walsh. And short towards... Good, good pass. mark, good pass Very to good Vicenton. Pass Walsh. Or Vicenton, whichever way you want to say. We'll have to get Archie on the phone at half time to work out what it is. Archie's future son-in-law. Oh. Well, he'll have a chance to kick goal number two. Two. Two, 30 metres out. Quick reply for North Geelong to be, but he's missed. Might have missed it. Mm-hmm. The near side and one behind. So they're five six thirty six North Geelong Eastern Suburbs seven nine fifty one. Scooter, Scotty Ferguson has a bit of a look. Chooses the far side of the ground. Pretty ordinary kick, and it's gone straight to North Geelong. Got control of the ball and banged it straight back through the middle. Who was that young fella from North it's Geelong? Brett Lewis, is it? Number fifteen. No. Yep, it is. Brett Lewis. And uh, Scotty Ferguson wasn't happy with himself there. Well, I wonder and, why. And neither should he be. So it's North Geelong 6 6 42 after that Brett Lewis goal. And Eastern Suburbs 7 9 51 in his second term. Like in set plays like that, why wouldn't you take the time? The ball was kicked well over the fence the first time. Why, why wouldn't you take the time of letting Stefanoski come down and take the kick out? Well, you. Well, he might next time now. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. Yes, true. <laughs> Back in the centre, umpire Pretlove throws it up. Weiss, Reuter gets it down again. Jones, good play to Weiss. Knew he was still standing there, and then he got it on to Burns. Goes towards Naylor. And Naylor, can he pick it up? No, he can't. Ferguson, fresh air shot with the left foot. Can't take it. And the umpire says it's mine. As we see uh, Steve Westcombe coming on the ground. Picked up by Shane Evans. It's going to be a ball up inside 50 for North Geelong. Thrown up again. Up early. Naylor took it out of the ruck. Then tried to get on his right boot, got rid of the footy. Still there with Naylor on hands and knees. It came back to him while he was standing there. Oh, and now he's holding the ball. It was pretty quick. Oh, and 50. You can't do that, Jimmy. And Intervong will take a 50-metre penalty. I think that was a bit hard. Yeah, it was frustration. But uh, ball came out to Lockwood. Lockwood yep. paddled it back, oh, yeah. and, and Jimmy Jimmy wasn't really it's prepared. Pretty quick, for it, I think. pretty quick uh, decision by the umpire. So. Uh, in defence of Naylor, but then he probably shouldn't have thrown the ball back at 100 miles an hour to Intervong, who's got it now on centre wing, goes towards centre forward, Louton from behind to the front of the pack, Peters breaks a tackle, goes with a tumbling right foot kick to Camarado, who's in front, and that's where you have to be when you're in the forward line, Pete. Actually, I, I was just going to chip Brett Louton there. I, I think in the first uh, quarter he was in front at all, yep. all the contests, and so far this quarter he's been caught behind, so the guy picking him up is... Uh, Obviously been told at quarter time by the the hierarchy to uh, pay a little bit more attention to him, stand in front of him and uh, stop him 
getting the easy ride to the ball. Well, Camarado's first goal is uh, Eastern Suburbs 8. They're 8 9 57. They lead North Geelong 6 6 42. And we've got a free kick in the middle to Andy Reuter. And ask me what that's for, I don't know. Loughton has heard Coach Peter Walker, and he's in front. He's taken the mark against Rory Nickel, who's done a fair job since he's gone on to him. Yeah, I think he has too. But uh, saying that, he has kicked two goals, one, pulling up for goal number three, and uh, which would be a uh, this would be a first time in a while that Eastern Suburbs has been able to put two goals on the board in a row. It's a good kick off the yeah, boot. Good goal. Oh, good kick. Good goal. And uh, that's his third. And then now 9-9-63, Eastern Suburbs. They lead North Geelong 6-6-42. So uh, just not what North Geelong wanted. And it was just that uh, it must have been something said to the umpire or maybe an extra person in, just that undiscipline in the middle that's cost them a goal there that could be costly because they were uh, sticking with them for a minute. But... Uh, it's now 21 points of difference. Back in the centre. Roared up. Weiss. Both get a hand to it. Peters running wrong way. Drop the footy. Yeah, yeah well, they've paid that all Good day. Decision. So that's that's OK. You've got to get rid of it. Well done, Jonesy. Plays on. Oh. Out to where Burns. It was a bit of an ordinary handball, but puts Burns under pressure. He turns it back. Another North Geelong player gets it over to where jo oh. Daryl Jones picks it up again. Looks down there for Walsh. Walsh can't get control of the ball been picked up there by uh, the number 22. And Archie's. That's, uh, Archie's Archie son-in-law. Archie son-in-law. And uh, had a ping, but has missed. And uh, and uh, I think uh, <laughs> someone must be listening Coach to the, Walker. the call out here. And Stefan Oski's picked the ball up and uh, oh. turns it outside. That's the a much better kick. Reuter. Oh. Reuter takes a very good well, mark. Yeah, very good mark that's been paid for a push in the back. A bit hard when he's got both hands in the air and he uses his body. Uh, makes it a bit hard to call those ones. Well, short little kick. Oh, falls towards Stefanovski. Now Naylor, his direct opponent. Quick kick. Wide. Very wide. And out of bounds. So it's 6 7 43. North Geelong, Eastern Suburbs, 9 9 63. It's going to be a free kick to Scotty Ferguson in the right back pocket to relieve the pressure for the Eagles. Reuter works himself across to the boards of the commentary box side. And it goes in that direction. Weiss, also up Naylor. Oh, at the oh. back, O'Leary, fourth in line. Oh, that's a mark, but he called play on. Goes to Delamonica. Short little kick away towards Buckingham. Has to sit and then handballs to nobody in particular. Then he gets it back and then handballs to nobody in particular again. Key leading Hill in the race for the footy. Gets back towards Burns. He's ripped off by Hill, but gets it to Jones. Play on the call. Jones now shepherded well by Westcom. Got a bit of time. Goes with a little left foot kick. Good measured pass. And finds Stewie Marnie at half forward. Kick around the corner to Naylor. Jimmy takes the mark. That's probably Marnie's first kick this quarter. And he goes back in board towards Weiss, the bigger man against Sheehan. Oh, good. Raving by himself by Weiss. Kicks it high in the air into the 10 metre square. Bailey and Ferguson will see it through, will they? Through for a point. Yep, through for one behind. <coughs> they go to 6 8 44 North Geelong. And they trail Eastern Suburbs 9 9 63. We're back to plan A now, Stefanoski. <laughs> looking to kick in. Does so and kicks very long again out to the far side, looking for Reuter. Ball gets punched away. Reuter recovers first but can't uh, pick the ball up. O'Leary, that's uh, Michael in there too. And he too can't pick the ball up. And uh, I think it was going to be a ball up and then uh, a late tackle, an infringement on Michael O'Leary has seen the, the umpy come in. Uh, measure off a 50 metre free kick and uh, Michael O'Leary makes his way up to <laughs> the central wing area. Not only a free kick, 50. Well in, well inside their uh, their attack area when he kicks the ball. Sheridan calls for the, the lead. Oh. Takes a great mark, turns, kicks across. Camarotto drops what he should have uh, picked oh. up. <laughs> has the footwork. And, uh, and I would pay that as a point. <laughs> Good work, Pete. Good save. Well, it was nearly a goal. Split the whisker. <laughs> Fair enough. He kicked a point too. Short pass out there. Uh, Key, Malcolm Key, takes the uh, the mark from the kick out. Oh, good kick. Turns turns the ball over and kicks it down to where Walsh picks the ball up. Turns onto what 
looks like he, not his preferred uh, leg, but uh, finds the captain of the North Geelong side in Daryl Jones. Jones Good kicks kick. across ground and does so very, very well where he finds Rory Nickel. Nickel settles things down a bit, plays on. Oh. Down to the half forward line with a bomb. Well done there by Buckingham for the Eastern Suburbs side. Gets control of the ball and kicks again across to where Sean O'Leary sets himself over Jones. He can't get the ball. It comes down. Alfie Della Monica picks the ball up and looks for Sheridan. Kicks long. Sheridan spills the ball but still looking for control. Camarotto turns onto the right and has bounced <laughs> one through the goals. And that's a very, very good goal from Eastern Suburbs. And I think that all came from uh, young Buckingham down here across the half-back line. Uh, missed what he what he had first, but then uh, took control again and eyes up the ground, moved the ball across the ground and set up a great goal for the Eastern Suburb side. Speaking of uh, legends on the ground kicking goals, we do have the uh, the future father-in-law of the uh, the uh, North Geelong player. Now, how do you call it, Archie? Vicentin or Vicentin? <laughs> he said he's going to pull the plug out. <laughs> <laughs> How are, how are you, Mr. Moore? <laughs> Secretary of the League, just walking in front of us. Well, because I'm commentating, that's why I didn't leave my phone on. Comes towards Burns and Walsh. Burns gets it to Walsh now at centre-half forward. Goes towards full forward. And getting up there, Sheehan. Backed himself. Got some support from Ferguson. Pushed it out towards Pickersgill. And kick around the corner, Stewie Marnie. Left foot kick. Which way is it going to bounce? Oh, it bounced the wrong way for North Geelong. And it will be one behind. And... Uh, so they now 6-9-45 North Geelong. And 10-10-70 uh, Eastern Suburbs. Stefanoski to kick the ball out. Looks again up the middle of the ground. A very nice penetrating kick. But uh, can't find the right colour. And Daryl Jones takes a very good mark. He plays on over to where he gets the ball out to the number 37. Oh, Naylor. He, oh, he gets it again. Yeah, Naylor off the hands of a pack, turns and has put it through. For one behind. Right on the half-time half siren. That's a one goal to James Naylor. And that makes life a little easier for the North Geelong side. Uh, I don't think they could have got a goal at a better time and that'll put them up to, I think it's 7-9. Uh, seven, seven, nine. Nine. Yep. 7-9 to 10-10. Ten, ten. So right on the siren, a very, very good uh, worthwhile goal there for the... Uh, the North Geelong side, very needed. I think uh, th they were dropping off the pace a little bit, but lifted in that uh, last five minutes. And uh, I still think we do have a game in our hands. It's about 20-odd uh, points of difference, I think. 19 it is. It's 7 9 51, North Geelong. Eastern Suburbs 10 10 70. The goal kick is to half-time for the Eagles. Three to Sean O'Leary, three to Brent Loughton, and two to Paul Camarado, and also Paul, two to, to Adam Sheridan. And for North Geelong, two to Corey Lockwood, one to Chris Fowler, one to Stewie Marnie, Rick Vicenton, Brett Lewis and James Nullow. That one on the siren. How are we going around the grounds, mate? Around the grounds, Bell Post Hill, 1-2 at quarter time. Trail at Geelong West, 3-2. Bannock Byrne in the grand final replay, 6-4. Lead Werribee, one behind Ooh. at quarter time. Close one at uh, Thompson, 4-5. Corio, 4-2. And a close one at Anarchy, 5-4. Anarchy, Belmont Lions, 4-4. So Go the Devils. A pretty even first quarter. And around the grounds, here at halftime, it's North Geelong 7 9 51, Eastern Serbs 10 10 70. And we'll be back with all the second half action after this on Guest Video and 94.9 Guest FM. <laughs> 